So what's up everybody? This is not so grand in here coming to you yet again with another video. Now I know I haven't been around, I haven't been uploading that often for a little while. It's been about two weeks and some days and for that I truly apologize. But at the same time I am super grateful for everybody that has currently subscribed to the channel. The channel just keeps growing and growing, the number of subscribers just keeps increasing so I am super grateful to you guys and family. The topic at hand today as you can see in the uh, thumbnail we are going to be exploring this particular house or rather villa. It is a villa that is located in Kinindo, Avenue de Large on the side of the uh, Lake Tanganyika. So if you're coming from the city, it'll be opposite uh, Cartier Oiwa. If you're going to the city, it'll be to your left side. So the villa in question, well, I'm actually here, but the villa in question is this particular building over here. It is a three apartment villa it's a huge amount of space on the inside. Uh, I'm gonna be stepping in in a little bit. So let's go check out the villa and see what the place has to offer. Now, a bunch of you have been complaining lately that some of the houses that I feature on the channel are not up to par or are not up to standard. Now, this particular house here is gonna blow you guys away. But yeah, let's step in and have you guys uh, check out the rest of the get to see what it is that I'm going to show you today. Other than that, see you in a bit. quick note the main idea of this particular villa is that once you get to acquire any one of these apartments behind me here you do not need to go anywhere after that should you need a an area where you can chill with friends and family you've got the garden should you need an area to have a good time such as swimming a bar area over there they got you covered that's it for the compound the outside that is you've already seen it all so now let's head into the first apartment on the inside and check out what the house in itself has to offer so it's basically three apartments you've got um one apartment up there and one apartment down here and then a whole other apartment on that side two two bedrooms and then you've got three bedrooms in that one or four well, i'll confirm it later but for now let's go uh check out the apartment upstairs over there which is what i have access to right now and uh let me not talk too much let's just step in and you guys can see the house i hope uh you guys enjoyed the building up there that's pretty much awesome the, the surrounding compound and everything that's an automatic door <laughs> All right, let's climb the stairs and uh, check out the rest of the house. Rather, let's check out the first apartment, which happens to be up here. Let's get in here and check out what this apartment looks like.
look at that. The decor on the wall, the colors on the wall. So as soon as you walk in, you're pretty much greeted with the a dining table. And then on the right side is your cooking and kitchen area. The left side is the sitting room with a set of four couches. As you can see, painting on the wall. Take a look at the decor on the roof. So this is the kitchen over here. You've got your kitchen cabinets, plenty amount of space all around you've got four three of these cabinets that open up like that that's a lot of space in there and then you've got your counter area where you cut your vegetables and everything you've got your gas stove over here it's integrated into the counter and then you have your ventilator right above the cooking area this is a in-house ventilator i'm not sure or maybe it takes the steam and the smoke Outside of the building, I'm not sure. Or it could it could be that it purifies everything within the kitchen itself. But these are the cabinets over here. More cabinets over here. There's just a whole bunch of cabinets everywhere. A bunch of cabinet doors that you open up. This is where you arrange your dishes when you store them. Right in there. A bunch of more cabinets here and there. This is a dope kitchen. It looks really good. The lighting up top, it does not get dark whatsoever at night here and then you have your mini fridge over here well it's not mini it's just a small it's in between it's a medium size water already stored in there now then you have your living area it's actually really spacious I'm not sure if the camera does justice to it but this is the sitting area then you got the TV up over there it is a curving the TV has a curved surface to it. Mm -hmm. They went all out when it comes to equipment. They did not spare anything when it comes to expenses. <laughs> which meaning, the price, which isn't something that I have right now, the price is something that I will disclose later in the description area below. For now, I think it could be somewhere between $1,000 to $2,000 to $2,500, but I'll put all of the information in the description below. Now, up over here is the balcony space for this particular apartment. This apartment opens up to this balcony right here. It is a balcony that overlooks the compound, that overlooks the compound area. That's the pool over there. You have your gym in one of those. One of those is a gym and the other is a TV or rather movie theater room. But this is all that you get to see up over here. Let's go back inside and check out the rest of the apartment. So this is a two bedroom apartment, just like I said before. It has two rooms. Um, let's check out the first room. You have a bathroom right here that is accessible to the guests that come into the house. It's a guest bathroom, but it's huge. No expenses spared again. You got your sink over there, mirror, lighting right above the sink. It's a pretty big bathroom. Now let's check out uh, these rooms. So as soon as you walk into the room, you are greeted with the bathroom over there, but we're not gonna go there just yet. You have your clothing cabinet over here where you store your clothing and everything. I have not seen anything this good looking that's far. But you've got your cabinet, you got your clothes hanger up over there. You have your drawers for where you, more storage space for your clothes and shoes and all of that. But my guess is the shoes will go down there. Now, as for the bathroom, you got your toilet here. You've got your toilet paper handle, whatever they call that. You have your sink. You've got your mirror, lighting above the mirror, and the shower area. Now the shower area seems to have a glass door. That's the shower part right there. You've got water that is heated instantly as you take a shower. You've got your shower thingy right over there. So my guess is you'll be standing over there taking a shower. Water hits this glass down here and flows down to a drainage system that is not exposed. It is beneath that platform down there. Just the design in this, the design in this apartment is, <laughs> if we go up over here, is the room. 
This is one of the rooms. This is the space that you get within the room. Uh, that's a fan up top over there. That is an intrinsic design. First of its kind, I haven't seen that before. You have AC, and then if you step up over here, is a balcony that can be used for this particular room. Now this balcony opens up to the parking area, as you can see. It opens up to the parking area. You get to have a view of all of the other houses that are over here. Not your regular everyday houses, but let's step back inside and check out the rest of the house. We've only got one room left to go. Now this next room is somewhere up over here. Same setting, both rooms open up to the bathroom. But this one here seems to be a little smaller. I'm not sure, I think, but this is the bathroom of this particular room. Same as the other bathroom. Not much that, not, not that much of a difference. The door that opens up to the bathroom is a sliding door. Intrinsic. Just like that. This is the door that opens up to the rest of the apartment. And this is the room right here. So unlike the other room, this room has the uh, clothing cabinet integrated with the sleeping space. So this is where you get to keep your clothes. The size of the clothing cabinet is just like the one in the other room. There isn't that much difference, but that's what you get. It's the same, same thing, the cabinets, the mirror in between, and then you get to slide the doors either side to gain access to whatever part of the clothing cabinet that you need. Both rooms have AC ready to go, just like that. You've got your accent lighting up on the roof, the fan in the middle. Oh, I love this apartment. Now this is like an upgrade of what the Buja White apartment was. If you guys haven't watched that particular video, I'm gonna put the link up here somewhere. Check it out. So that's it for the tour of this particular um, apartment. Now, I cannot gain access to the other apartments that are, that are in this building, but it is safe to assume that all of the other apartments are just like this one. Now, this is the smallest apartment there is, so the others are better and bigger than this particular one here. Now this is one of the fancy apartments that I've come across so far. This is better than any hotel that you can find anywhere really in Bujibura right now. So I'm going to leave all of the information that you require as to the location if the owner wants me to put that up, the location, um, the prices and the contacts and everything, all of that, I'll leave in the uh, description below. So that's it for the apartment up here. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna end the video right here and get going. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'm gonna see you guys later. This is not so over ending here. I'm out.